guys, this is Roman from Mantra Customs in Northeast Philadelphia, next to the beautiful Delaware River. Uh, and we're gonna do a quick tour of this 2019 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter. It's a 170 inch wheelbase. It's not the extended one, uh, just a 170 inch wheelbase, 4x4, so we do have a little gap of a wheel wheel there and all around. Um, sweet van and a pretty sweet build inside. I'll take you for a quick tour of a closer look of this cabin 4x4 conversion. So let's have a look inside here. Right away, we have the pretty big kitchen that goes all the way down to the step with the pine tongue and groove planks meeting in the 45 degree angle here. And right over here, we have the um, S bar B4L, B4L, or D4L, I don't know, diesel heater. Has the altitude sensor with it, so you can adjust the fuel to air mixture. Um, and it, can warm up this whole build within minutes and keep it nice and toasty throughout the night. Um, and it's pretty quiet. I like it. Keeps it really warm. All right. Well, right away you have the big kitchen uh, with the tongue and groove face. This was a pretty big project here, and it was it had come out came out really nice. I like the look of it, and really kind of fits in nicely in this build. You have a ton of storage in the drawers. Uh, nice finished drawer boxes. Here we have the induction cooktop. Take this guy out, plug it in, cook up a little meal in the morning, lunch, dinner, wherever you may. And then when you're done, put it back here. You're not typically cooking all day, every day. So it's nice to be able to store it away where you're not, it's not exposed to shattering the glass top. Um, but yeah, you have a ton of big drawer boxes here. So this is where you kind of utilize most of the storage in this build. And over here we have the farm sink. It has a nice big little cutting board, which are black piece here with the beautifully black finished um, faucet here to match the rest of the accents on this build. And yeah, it's a nice little, nice little sink. It's kind of brings the kitchen together. I like it. I like it a lot. And over here we have a big fridge. This is as big of a fridge you could fit as a 12 volt unit. Pretty big uh, freezer. And a big, huge, almost house-like um, fridge. And right next to the fridge we have the transit passenger seat with the um, three-point belt seat belts here we have a little bit of uh, upper overhead storage kind of airplane like just little little storage here and there it's always nice to be able to store some things here we have the cr lawrence small window that we framed in uh you know pine tongue and groove uh has a little lid here you can open up and close with a little screen uh, nice little window, and here we have a pretty big closet. Open up here. Oh, we have some things in here already. There's a blanket, and yeah, you can fit a ton of things in here. Um, camping gear, whatever you may. Nice plastic RV um, drawer catchers on everything throughout the build. Um, keep your stuff in place and safe, not thrown being thrown at you. Uh, we have the 110 outlets with the USB ports with a Max Air fan that's with the remote. It's right above you. Um, nice to have. You can have 
bring the remote with you, put the heater on, put the fan on, um, and it keeps the temperature visualized on the remote as well. So it's easy to keep track of that. Little addition to this build is a shower. It's really nice to have a full standing shower. I've used it and it works great. Uh, I took 10 eight minute showers and it's, you know, you get plenty of hot water and you have plenty of room. Uh, and over here you have a little toilet here that it, it's an access toilet so you can dump it out wherever you may. Um, and you know, you can also use it in here. You have a family with you or whatever. You need to close the door and have a little private session. Just close this Nautilus uh, shower door, which is also self drying because it has a little squeegee over here. So it just takes all that water right off when you close it and you're not afraid of mold and moisture built up in your little shower crevices and stuff like that. This shower is very waterproof with wetty board and sealant all around. Um, so, you know, it's a nice little waterproof cell. Oh, and we put vinyl tiles all the way around. This took a really long time, but it does save a ton of weight. Here we have our little dinette room. You just come over here with a few of your buddies. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six people in here and be pretty comfortable, play a little card game whatever you may it's uh and then the, this table drops down where is it right here it'll drop down you have to actually take it off the lagoon swivel um but this drops down and then you put the cushions in and it is a almost king size bed which is pretty awesome to have in a van that has a shower seat and another bed above my head and this is how you convert this little dinette area into a king size bed. I will demonstrate right now. So bear with me here. You just turn this little handle here, slide that pole out, take this mechanism off. I put it underneath the bed. You're not moving. You can store it right along here also. And then you take your little backrest cushion and drop it in here. And then you put a little sh cushion sheet, little sheet over this, and you have a nice big size bed. You also have a 110 volt outlet slash USB charger here. And uh, little black shadow frame in here which the customer is going to be showing her resin art in um right now there's just some beautiful art of venture custom little things here and up top so you have this little bed here put a sheet over it uh the mattress you know you don't really feel those crevices in between the cushions and then up you look over here you have the a uh, little dial for the water, how much water you have. Right now we're a little bit lower than quarter of a tank. So you're able to easily keep track of your water. And your inverter is right here also. You turn that on in this control board. And here we have the bed lift controller. Boom, it's moving right now. Now uh, just holding the button. And that is how easily you can sleep four people in here. It's pretty sweet. Well, you don't want to crush people below. You can keep it a little higher. Um, yeah, you can use this as a step and climb on in here. I'm not going to put my boots on here, but it is a... Uh, I don't know how to say full size bed and really comfortable mattress and you know you have a nice little cabin here so above my head we actually have a factory Mercedes air conditioner unit that was above I used the plastic uh, vents that it came with and fabricated into the ceiling of this of this uh, 
tongue groove pine plank ceiling and the little vents so everything is still functional and works really good and over here we have the electrical setup on this side of the bench water system tank on this side of this bench um i'll show you the electrical setup just had to pick up the little board here it's on uh piano hinges here's the little electrical setup everything has breakers fuse panel usually has a cover i have it off right now battery isolator four 200 amp hour agm batteries uh this client lives in a pretty cold part of colorado so she didn't want to be worried about possibly damaging her lithium batteries in the cold up there it's very easy to do and that's a pretty costly mistake no one wants to make uh so agm is a great way uh you just you know have to make sure that you don't drain them all the way to zero and they will last you a long time 3000 watt renergy inverter plenty to power the water heater and the induction cooktop and that's pretty much it and then here we have the 25 gallon fresh water tank next to the wheel well with a flow jet 12 volt water pump and the 2.5 gallon hot water heater and all that runs into the shower hot and cold with the overflow tube breather tube um, over here is the gauge for the water level gauge that you guys saw in the upper cabinet um, everything's strapped in and secured and um, yeah pretty simple water system I like to keep it more simple um, and parts easily accessible at uh, a local hardware store we have the storage area which is a just like a big cubby and a ton of storage over here this is also where you would fill up you grab this hose and take it outside of the van so you're not spilling water all over the place to fill up your water tank and once you see it in the clear tube fill up you hit the valve or turn off the valve and you are ready to go with a full tank of fresh water and over here we have the beautiful mercedes for our cockpit it's really nice 10 inch um led screen um yeah just a really nice layout to make it feel like you're not in a work truck i like it nice nice uh atmosphere to sit in we also put in two seat swivels aftermarket sprinters do have them available as an option factory um this is from sportscraft seat swivel swing this guy around and then swing this guy around too and now you have the ability to have four people here as well you know you can have six people back there four people back here and great way to fit six you know pretty big group of people a lot of my friends have small apartments that i can't even fit that many people to sit in um so this is a great custom build what should i say <laughs> um thanks for watching okay okay so should i start Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. This was a really fun custom build and a pretty cool tour to go through with you guys. Um, let us know what you guys think um, and stay updated with the future custom van tours that we're going to have. <laughs> Is that the right thing? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that was good. Uh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah, good. I feel like I could have said couple things better like a lot of them just say bye bye <laughs>